These used to be the gas pumps for the Sumalo Lodge. It was a uh, restaurant store gas station close to Hope on Highway 3. You don't see it standing behind me because it burnt to the ground. I'm taking a good look at Princeton so you don't have to. I had um, some hours to kill here once and I went for a drive to Colmont and that was interesting. Uh, oh yeah, while I was here, I uh, asked somebody downtown how the Chinese food was, is it any good? And they said, oh yes, it's very good. And I ate some and it was not. That's one hell of a grass fire over there. And dangerously close to that house. Oh, there's black things. Fuck, there's explosions going on. Uh-oh. Yeah, big black smoke. What the hell? We're still in the Similkameen. Uh, I stopped here because a friend used to come here every fall to get organic turkeys down this road. And um, one year she pulled up here with her little pickup truck full of organic turkeys in the back. And at the stop sign she turned right, got up onto the road, had to stop. All the frozen turkeys rolled to the back of the truck and knocked the tailgate open and they all rolled down the hill here. Here's the Okanagan Valley, this is a Soyuz. And, uh, you know what's amazing about this place? There's five species of scorpion live here. Still in a Soyuz. I, uh, so, uh, yeah, okay, it was rumored that uh, a hot dog cart burst in the flame downtown here in the late 1980s. Um, that could be bullshit, though. The Anarchist Summit sign's been stolen again. <clears throat> That's what happens if you name something too good. People are just gonna wanna take it away, like Route 66 in the States. Someone writes a song about it. And for decades, people just keep stealing the signs, you know? So, it's a problem. This is Bridesville. <clears throat> so Bridesville was originally a mining camp a long time ago, and the miners got tired of not having women around and I guess they told the boss hey man we better get some women here and the boss uh, worked on it and amazingly he got a bunch of women I, like how how do you do that um, do you get like the train load or truck load I have no idea um, how he got the women here but they came and they married all the minor guys and they established this town called Bridesville, which is probably a lot better than, you know, Husbandville or, uh, so, yeah. Uh, we're in Rock Creek now. There used to be a place right here called the Edelweiss and uh, it was a restaurant and hotel. I don't know if it was there or there but it was one of these I think it's right there anyway uh, restaurant hotel uh, I worked I worked out of it tree planting right after I turned 20 and the guy I worked for is dead and the building is gone and just life is short man things disappear so I don't know if this place burnt or if they just pushed it over um, but things don't last all my life you know since I was 12 I've wanted to Go for a walk on these beautiful, golden, bald hilltops. Feel the dry grass between my bare toes. Just gotta get to it, man. Uh, this one's in Greenwood, family restaurant. This one burnt down for sure, a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, there's not much else going on in Greenwood besides restaurant fires. I guess there's the slag heap. You could always check out the slag heap. So we're in Grand Forks, right downtown uh, at the intersection of Highway 3 and whatever that is, the sun's in my eyes. 
And right here in this parking lot used to be a restaurant. And they were famous for their borscht. And on the side of the restaurant was a big painted caricature of a Russian man in traditional garb. This place burnt to the ground. And I've been thinking about the word burnt. I usually say burnt when I'm just not thinking and it comes out, it comes out burnt. But there's also burned. So what the hell, man? Wow, why do we have trouble making up our minds about burnt and burned? Burnt. Verb. Let's take a look. Past and past participle of burn. Uh, burned. Past and past participle <laughs> of burn. Is there another word in the English language that works like that? Two different spellings, very similar. Two distinct different sounds, very similar. Exact same meaning. It's confusing, man. Uh, we're in Christina Lake now. It smells like smoke here. Who knows, maybe it's from Karameas. So, this spot used to have a restaurant bar here called The Time and Place, and uh, it burnt to the ground. Um, why is that the theme today? I'm not even really sure. It's just something I've wanted to do for a long time. So we're doing it, and uh, I guess if there's a moral to the story, then it is if you own a restaurant on Highway 3 in BC, you best make sure that your insurance is in order. Anyway, like I said, this was the time and place, and uh, this is the time and place for me to wrap this thing up. It's been a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll do it again. Have a good evening. Hey, how's it going? I used to be in a band. <laughs>